way back in 1976 when they're doing an extension of the subway and they're building Islington subway station, they came across um, a parcel antlers um, with a parcel skull from what looked like some kind of deer. And it turned out to be a unique specimen, one that had not been identified before. The specimen itself is over 11,000 years old. And there'd been some debate in the past. Some people were saying it was closer to deer. Some people were saying it's closer to caribou. This particular one, which they've nicknamed the Toronto subway deer, is a one of a kind. And that's why it was quite unique to be able to fit this into the taxonomy or basically the family tree of the deers that are around today. That's really kind of what a mandate of a museum does. We house a lot of the artifacts. We study them to learn about our past, but also kind of inform for the future. And having the DNA labs allows us to do that with the, on the biological side of things, where we can actually answer questions that were previously unanswerable.